This is Black Light. Old school to the new school. I'm going to show you <clears throat> how the white man tricks you. And the reason why I'm doing uh, Nipsey Hussle again is because Kev Gills is leading you astray. It looks like he's trying to get justice in a proper perspective for Nipsey. But he's trying to break down and identify all these uh, doctored up, vid doctored up, uh, and covered up videos because you could tell this is a setup. But I started off. Uh, with a video talking about gold and I'm going to tie all that in together because it's all one big trick to keep the black man down and to keep the, the rest of the world fooled to keep the rest of the world thinking that the black man ain't no good And he deserves whatever ill fate befalls him. If you notice, every time we, we move on up, we gain a little ground, we get knocked down again. Everyone else is in our neighborhood and we catering to them and they are not catering to us. When I mean everyone else, I'm talking about the Chaldeans. Uh, other ethnic groups is benefiting from us, but we're not benefiting from them. It's because you're always misled. But if you stick with me, you will see, I will lead you in the right direction. Now, LAPD, the one that orchestrated the hit on Nipsey Hussle, excuse me, right here. That's a, clearly a white dude with light, light hair, blonde or something like that. He's looking in this direction at this guy right here with the pink shirt on now it came out that <clears throat> the video has been overlaid and doctored up we knew I knew that from the jump from the very jump street you know but we all knew it because they tried to lay it on Eric Holder and you can't identify who's from this uh, scene you can't identify who the shooter is then when they did capture Eric Holder we're gonna find that video he had on different pants different shirt different haircut and the guy appeared like he was a look-alike, looked sort of like Eric Holder. And then in other shots, it didn't look like the same guy, same haircut, whatever. So I'm going to direct you to the who the police is. This car right here, this, this, this lady in this. Right here, see the police, he the police, and this white guy the police.
they orchestrating their head. They're getting it, the timing just right. Now, when they got the grand jury, they could manipulate the grand jury any way they want to. Now, the getaway driver possibly could be an undercover cop for the police, which I think she was. They was going to frame Eric Holder from Jump Street. They had to get him uh, on the scene. But somehow they're not showing the part where Eric Holder went up to Nipsey in conversation with him. That part is not on, he is not on video or they, they, they uh, not showing it because maybe it didn't happen as they planned it to happen. You know, but Eric Holder is a patsy. You know, they was going to blame it on him for various reasons. Now, uh, it came out that uh, there's going to be a uh, internal affairs investigation. Uh, because of the fact that they wonder why the getaway driver, the, the female getaway driver, there's a lot of discrepancies and, you know, file testimony on her behalf that the police, you know, is not responding to properly. Now, The uh, LAPD and the internal affairs could be working together, you know, to make it look like they investigating. And because to me, they're investigating the wrong thing. To me, they should be investigating why we don't have all everyone in that mall in the mall as witnesses why you don't have at the crime scene when properly secured it was a whole lot it's so many mistakes and they disinvestigating the the the, the lady and I believe the, uh, the getaway driver, I believe she's a cop. She's an undercover cop. Now they talking about Visa Islam might be an undercover cop. He might be. But none of this would jump off unless it was sanctioned by the uh, LAPD. The mayor had to be in on it, had to know about it. Chief of police, police commissioner, everyone had to know at the top what was going on. Now, Big U and all these little small fish, forget them. They're not going to Break so suddenly break down and tell you, you know, that they they their involvement. Uh, cowboy, you could plainly see Cowboy was in on it because he told a lie. If we let this this play out, when Nipsey got shot and was laying on his on his back, Cowboy came over there. And was just looking at him and looked like he was searching around for something. Now everybody think Cowboy was get uh, 
trying to get his jewelry. But he didn't have on no jewelry. So what was he searching for? It could have been a microchip or something. You know, it's deeper than what we think. They wanted Nipsey Hussle to do some dirt to LAPD. Laundry some money or do his business or something of that nature. I think that's what it was. They wanted him to laundry some money. Now we're going to get deep into this right here from time to time. But the rest of these guys is trying to throw the, the, the general public off. Because look, they don't want you to get outraged. Because we could sit down here and try to solve this, who was the shooter and everything like that. But if we do solve it, what are we going to do about it? What you going to do? Can you fight City Hall? You know. And by the time that uh, they get around to uh, ending the trial, the people might not have the same type of motivation to... Go to the governor or go to someone to get justice. And the LAPD going to have to do business as usual. So, I just want y'all to go out with this. No one is talking about this white guy no more. The only sister now, they're talking about her in that car. Because her thing is so obvious. She getting out the car, running around the car, and then coming back in the car. You know, that looked funny right there. But they letting this guy right here off the hook. And when he get out the car, that's when everything starts happening. He stays in the car for, for a couple of seconds before he gets out looking over here. When he gets out, he sees looking straight over there at this guy right here. Then when he walks towards here, that's when another guy comes around the corner. They say he's a shooter. Everything is styled like clockwork. So, Kevin Gibbs could be a, a cover-up man. Because he's not handling, not looking at that. He should be investigating the LAPD trying to talk to them. Same with Sinetta. Sinetta ain't even talking about this. He's still doing trying to debate, doing the religious debates. So this is Black Light. Stay tuned.